So this morning, I wanted to see if I could detect autofill behavior in the browser, and I came across some posts that mentioned a pseudo class that gets applied to inputs called webkit-autofill. And it occurred to me that I've never actually used JavaScript to test for the existence of a pseudo class. I've only ever used it inside of CSS to add styling. Um, and I came across the element.matches method, which allows us to test a given element against a CSS selector, and it turns out that that CSS selector can reference a pseudo class. So for example, let's go over to the console here, if I test this username input for WebKit autofill, you can see it has nothing and the class list on the element has nothing. Uh, but if I go ahead and add a autofill there, and now I test, you can see that it has the pseudo class for the WebKit autofill. Now you'll notice, of course, that that still does not show up in the class list. The class list does not contain pseudo classes, it only contains the standard CSS classes. Now we can do this for other things like hover and active, which you can see that we don't have yet. But if we jump over into our elements panel and we go to the username, we can explicitly add some of these. So for example, let's add uh, hover and active, right? And now we go back over to our console and we try hover, you can see this time hover does exist as does active. And of course we have not yet applied focus, so we can see that focus doesn't exist. So let's take a quick look at how this is working under the hood. So here's our input, nothing special about it. I'm giving it the class so that we can see what the class list has in it. And uh, we basically just have an ID and that's what we're gonna use uh, to target it. And the links here are just calling JavaScript methods test for passing in the particular CSS pseudo class that we want to look at. And down here, test for, uh, essentially what I'm doing is just handing off to this matches method. I'm giving it the element that I want to look at and the pseudo class. Now, under the hood, we're actually going to fall back to two native DOM methods. Uh, primarily, we're going to default to node, which is the element I'm passing in, node.matches. Now node.matches has pretty strong support in all modern browsers, including IE, except for the fact that IE actually just uses a different name. It uses this MS matches selector, which is what uh, uh, the Mozilla, Mozilla Developer Network tells me. So we're either looking for matches and we're falling back to matches, MS matches selector, and that should give us uh, compatibility in basically everything since IE9. And in this case, I'm then now taking the selected method and I'm calling it in the context of node using the given selector. Remember that selector is that CSS pseudo class. Um, and I am wrapping this in a try catch because uh, if you try to use a pseudo class that doesn't get supported by the browser, it'll end up throwing a syntax error. So if the browser doesn't support the given syntax error, sorry, tweet deck, uh, if it doesn't support the given pseudo class, then um, we're just going to say that it's false because we can't match against something the browser doesn't support. So uh, pretty simple, uh, almost nothing going on. Really, uh, the main thing here is I just wanted to get a little bit of hands-on experience with the matches method. Uh, this works for much more than just pseudo classes, right? Like we come into the browser and let's um, select our input, right? And once we've selected that, of course, we can go in here and we can do zero, right, to get that element. So I could do something like matches input, and we could use an element-based selector, that's true. We could do something like input username, that's true, right? We could use something where it's just the class username. Um, 